Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of the uh, Greek New Testament. I'm reading the book of Revelation, chapter 3 up to verse 14. And this is the final of the messages to the seven churches, and this is the message to Laodicea. The structure is the same as with the other six letters, the other six messages. Kaito Angelo tes en Laodicea ecclesias grapson, and to the angel of the church of the one in Laodicea, right. Tadi lege ho amen homatus hopistos kai alethinos he arche tes to theu. So the the amen. So this is referring to Jesus, presumably here. So the amen, the faithful and true witness, speaks these things. The uh, literally the beginning of the creation of God. Katisios means creation or foundation, beginning. Katisdo is used, for example, to found a colony in another place. So the katisis is the foundation or the creation. Uh, uda su, uh, sorry, oida su ta erga hoti uti psukros e uti zestos. So I know your works that, A, second person from the verb to be, you are neither psukros, cold, udid zestos, nor hot. Uh, this word survives into modern Greek, in fact. It's the word for hot in modern Greek. Uh, ophelon, psukros, heis, he, zestos. Ophelon is, by this stage, has become a just a, like a particle. Um, it's obviously connected with Ophelo, what something which ought to happen. May have started life as perhaps an imperative of that verb. By this stage, it, it doesn't change. It's just a particle, meaning would that. So would that a second person imperfect from the verb to be, so would that you were cold or hot, uh, Notice, maintaining the same order, cold and hot. Hutos hoti kliaros a uti xestos uti psukros on the next page. Uh, thus, now the kliaros is an adjective, it's a classical word, means um, tepid or lukewarm. Thus, because you are lukewarm, kai uti zestos and neither hot Uti psukros nor cold on the next page. Notice a little chiasmus here. We had cold and hot in that order, and now we get a reverse hot and psukros cold uh, in the reverse order. Melo se emesai ek tu stomatos mu, rather strong line here. I am about. Emesai means to vomit or spew out. It's a, an aorist infinitive. It, the verb is emeo. We get the word emetic in English from that. Uh, and like, just like calio and teleo, the epsilon doesn't lengthen in this verb, probably because it's so short. So the verb is emeo, to vomit or spew. So I'm about to vomit you or spew you out from my mouth. To stomatos, genitive from stoma. Uh, hoti legais, because you say, and now we get hoti recitative here, so that's just like inverted commas. So you don't translate this hoti, the editors put a capital pi here to indicate that, and so this just, you put this into English by just using inverted commas. So because you say, plusios amy kai pepluteka, Kai uden kreaneko, kai uk oidas hoti su e hot telaiparos, kai elianos, kai turkos, kai tuflos, kai gumnos. Sum buluo soi agorasi pa emu, crucion peperominon, ek puros hina pluteses, kai himatia luca, hina peribale. Kai me fenarothe he ai skune te skumna te su, kai kal o urion, increase I tu 
Ophthalmusu Hina Blepes. It's quite a long um, two verses there, a long sentence. So because you say that I am wealthy and I have become wealthy, this is from Pluteo, this is the perfect, Kai, Echo Crayon, I have need, and the Uden is an internal accusative here, in respect of nothing. So because you say, I am wealthy, I have become wealthy, and I have need in respect of nothing, and you do not know, second person from Oida, and you do not know, Hoti, that, Sue, you are hot Talaiporos, you are the miserable one. A good classical word, Talaiporos. Uh, you are wretched one, and you are one who is piteous, Elenios, you, you are pitiful. You get the verb Eleo, I have pity, and this is an adjective from this, Elenos. You are piteous, Kaiptokos, you are poor, and blind, and Gumnos, naked. Sum bilyuo soi agorasai. So I, this is from, well this is sum bilyuo. Bilyuo is to um, take counsel, and here it's sum bilyuo, perhaps to advise. So I give advice soi to you, so I advise you. Agorasai, now the, the agora was originally a meeting place. In fact, agero, an old verb, means to gather. So in Homer, the Agora was the meeting place. And then as time moves on, well, the place where you meet uh, is the place where you start to do business and you buy things. And so Agora, by 5th century Athens, comes to mean a marketplace. And of course, the Agora, still ancient Agora, is still there in Athens. And then from that, you form the verb Agorazdo, to buy. And that we have here an aorist infinitive of agorazdo to buy. So I advise you to buy. Now the, this verb is now going to take three different um, objects and Greek loves things in threes. So to buy from me firstly crucion gold, pepperomenon, we've seen this verb before from puro, to purify by fire but we actually have the ek puros as well, so it probably by this stage has just come to mean to purify. And this is a perfect passive participle here, agreeing with crucion. So I advise to you to buy from me gold, purified ek puros from fire, genitive from pur, in order that you might become wealthy. Pluteses from um, Pluteo. This is a error subjunctive here. Uh, and to buy, understood, Himatia Luca, white garments, in order that, Peri Ballet. Now this is a middle um, subjunctive here. We've seen this verb before. It's used in a kind of passive sense, but it is technically a middle verb. Um, to put around yourself, to, to cast around yourself. So, in order that you might be clothed, we might say, Kai may, and the shame of your nakedness, this is from gumnotes, this is the genitive, it's a third declension uh, noun, gumnotes, born from gumnos, of course, nakedness. Uh, the shame of your nakedness might not be visible, uh, and then the third thing to buy is this kol urion, and the omicron you'll notice has been put in brackets here. I'll tell you what the word means firstly, and perhaps translate it, and then I'll come back and say a bit more about this rather odd word. Uh, so to buy um, eye ointment is what this is. Uh, Encresi, an infinitive here, um, aorist infinitive from it's N plus Creo. And of course the new, the, the nasal becomes a guttural nasal before the Chi. Uh, so it means to anoint. To anoint in, literally. So ju just to anoint your eyes. Hina blepes, in order that you might see. 
subjunctive here from blepo. This is an odd, uh, strange word, really. It, it means an eye ointment of some sort. Now, there is, the reason the Omicron is bracketed here is because the, the name comes originally from a, a noun, Colura, without the Omicron. And the Colura was a, a sort of a, a word meaning a cylindrical loaf of coarse bread. So whatever this was, this was some kind of concoction, some medical concoction that was used for an eye ointment. Perhaps it was a kind of poultice or something that you placed over the eye. And it had the same shape as the colura, the loaf of bread. This is a diminutive from that same word. In Greek often did this. It would take a fairly common word fairly down-to-earth words such as kalura, meaning a loaf of bread, uh, and then turn it into a diminutive, perhaps, and use it in place of another word, which is totally, uh, another object, which was totally different, but had something in common with the original. Um, so I'm just trying to think of an example of one of these. There are, there are other examples in Greek of where these things happen. So the original meaning was a loaf of bread which, which was cylindrical in shape, has the same shape as this eye ointment, this perhaps this poultice that they're putting on, and so this word comes to mean the eye ointment itself. So just quickly to go back over this rather long verse, so I would advise you to buy from me gold purified by fire in order that you might become wealthy and I would advise you to buy also white garments in order that you might be clothed and that your, the shame of your nakedness might not be visible. And understand to buy urion, eye ointment, to anoint your eyes in order that you might see. So we have these three different things. Ego hosus ian philo elenko kai pai duo. And now the e'an here, as we happens often in Biblical Greek, e'an just for an here. So, um, and the ego goes with the philo. So as many as, and the philo will probably be a subjunctive here. So as many as I might love, elenko I reprove, and pi duo, and I educate, I teach. Say um, uh, un, so be zealous, therefore, kai metano eson, and repent. Idu hesteka epiten thuran, kai cruo, eon tisakuse tes phones, mu kai anoik se ten thuran, Kai es el usumai pros auton kai dot de ne so met autu kai autos metemu. Very, very famous verse, I think, is it? Uh, Behold, I stand, hesteka. It's a perfect in form from histami. Histami means I cause to stand. And in the perfect form, it's I stand. So it's perfect in form but present in meaning. Behold, I am standing at the door and cruo and I am knocking. Aeon tisakuse tes phones mu. Now cruo normally takes a genitive of person and an accusative of a thing. Here we're taking a genitive of the thing, but that happens in the New Testament. It, it either takes a genitive or an accusative, it just depends on the author. So if anyone hears my voice, kai anoikse, this is the eris subjunctive from anoigo, and opens the door, now we get kai in brackets, ace elusimai, elusimai is the future from erkamai. In classical Greek you use amy ibo, in later, in um, Ionic Greek, and it comes into the New Testament, they use Eleusimai. They don't use the uh, Amy for the future of Urkamai. So this means, I will enter in. Now, this doesn't mean into him. It means in his direction. It's pros, not ace. 
So I will enter in towards him, or to him, kai deep neso, and I will dine, I'll make a deep nos, I'll make a dinner, met outu with him. This is from deep neo, epsilon contract verb, and he with me. So just to do that bit again, uh, so behold, I stand at the door and I am knocking. If anyone hears my voice and might open the door, I will enter in, uh, well, in to him or perhaps towards him, and I will dine with him and he with me. And then we get the usual finishing off section here. Oniko and doso auto kathi saimat emu ento throno mu kai cargo enike sakai e kathi sameto tu petros mu ento throno auto and then ho eko and usakusato ti top numa lege tai seclesiais. The one conquering, well, I will give future from didomi, perhaps I will grant, perhaps here, I will give to him, so I will grant to him, kathisai, erist infinitive from kathisdo, to sit, to sit with me on my throne, so not in, but on my throne, hos, um, now, cargo for kai ego, and we get two kais here, so since I have both conquered and I sat, erist from Kathisdo, I sat with my father on his throne. The one having an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And that is the end of chapter 3, and that is the end of the seven messages to the various churches.